Hey folks, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create new consumables in Frosty Editor for PUC GB2. First, open the gameplay folder, scroll down, single click selection sets, and I'm going to open team plant selection sets. Open the selection sets, open item 1, which is for pod plants, open its child nodes, and add new item. Click the three dots in your new item and select create new. Under the PVC shared folder, pick selectable unlock spawner. Open your new item. Give it a node name of your choice. Since I'm working with Power Lily, I'm going to type Power Lily into the search bar to find its unlock identifier. I'll open Weapons, AI, Plant, single click AI Power Lily folder, and open the U file. Copy the identifier, go back to the selection sets, and paste it here. For the AI spawn, I'll open teams, plants, AI spawn locks, single click power lily spawn data, and assign it there. Now we need to add metadata. Open the PVZ folder, UI, single click weapons, and open the plant AI metadata. Open the items, add a new item, copy the first one, scroll all the way to the bottom, and paste it to your new one. Open that item, open its item IDs, and paste the weapon identifier on your clipboard. Then change the name to your consumable's weapon name. And change the category to your consumables name. Now we need to give it an icon. Open textures, single click billboards, and open any of the texture assets. Hit import, and select your custom consumable image. Special thanks to HDified for this one. Go up to name, and copy it. Head back to the metadata file, and paste it to the texture path. After you do that, scroll down the data explorer, open soldiers, single click metadata, and open costume metadata. Open the nodes, I'm going to open node 0, open those nodes, add a new one, Click the three dots in your new item, select create new, and make it the character made data tree node class. Open that item, set the node name to whatever you want. To get the weapon ID, go back to the weapon unlock asset, copy the identifier again, head back to costume metadata, and paste it there. Set AI description to whatever you want. The last thing we need to do is find the original metadata asset we added, right click it, and hit export. Save it as a bin file. Then right click the asset again, and hit revert. Finally, right click it one more time, and hit import, and open the bin file you just exported. The time has come to save the project, and I'll call it Power Lily. Let's launch the game to see if we can spawn Power Lily as a pod plant. And there she is. Unlike the other pots, we have an infinite supply of power lilies. Well, that concludes the tutorial. You guys voted, and I delivered. See you next time.